Welcome to this demonstration of an actual failover with vSphere fault tolerance. In the last demo, we initiated a test failover. In this demo, we will demonstrate the failure of the host running the FT primary VM. Note that the current fault tolerance status is protected, the secondary VM is running on host 3, and the primary VM is running on host 1. We log in to the remote management console for host 1 and start a constant ping to our FT-protected VM. We now reset the host and see that the FT-protected VM dropped only one ping during the switch from primary to secondary. Any transactions or processes occurring during the switch would be unaffected. Looking at the vSphere client, we see that host 1 is reporting as failed. And the FT protected VM shows that the fault tolerance status has changed to not protected and starting. This means that the new secondary VM is currently starting. After the secondary finishes starting up, we will be back in a protected state. After a short time, we see that our VM is again being protected. The protected VM is running on host 3 and the secondary on host 2. This completes our demonstration of vSphere fault tolerance actual failover. Thank you.